Hello, my friends. I'm here in the Rose Garden and I'm looking out over the campus. It's quiet in the afternoon and I'm recording this Sunday school lesson that many of you probably will see on Sunday or sometime thereafter. And we're approaching the fourth Sunday in Advent. And the candle that we would light this Sunday is the candle for love. So we've gone through hope, peace, joy, and now love. And our lesson today comes from the Gospel according to Luke in the first chapter, starting around verse 26, and we'll read on into chapter two, ending with verse seven. And this is the story of Mary being told that she's about to have a child and the birth of Jesus. So the next time we see each other, we will have already celebrated Christmas. So here we are in this time of Advent and I often at the end of a day like to come out of my office in McNaughton Hall and just look out over the campus and think about all of you and the faces and how the preschool was in session earlier in the day, remembering how you would run around the campus, running from the sanctuary over to McNaughton Hall, all those memories. And that th got me thinking about Mary, who is probably doing some contemplating, that's a big word, but that's like thinking, really thinking about things. When this angel Gabriel appeared and said, Mary, you are going to be a mom. And Mary said, what? Not me, a mom? I can't be a mom. I haven't been with my husband yet. And Gabriel says, it's okay, Mary. You have been chosen to be the mother of the Son of God. Well, I'm sure Mary, she just couldn't believe it. And she said so. And Gabriel said, Mary, you do not have to be afraid. It's all going to be okay. And Mary thought about it. And you know what? Mary knew in her heart that she loved God. And so that love helped her to trust in what Gabriel was saying. And she said, okay, Gabriel, I believe and I am honored to have been chosen. My dear friends, we have been chosen by God as people of faith to spread God's love and kindness to everyone. And you know what? I know that you know how to do it. I know you know how to be kind to one another, how to help people when they need it, how to just be a quiet friend and sit and listen when someone needs to talk or to just share your beautiful smiles or your joyful laughter. All of these things come from love. And this Sunday is another way you can show your love. This Sunday on the 20th, we will be collecting food for our neighbors. For those in our community who need just a little extra help because of all the things that have been going on in our lives this year. So find some of your favorite things, pack them in a nice paper bag, and drive them on over to Plymouth and be part of the parade that will deliver love and kindness with the food that we will gather and deliver to our neighbors. So waiting and thinking. Wow, next week we will celebrate the birth of the baby Jesus. 
the one who came into the world as a baby to help us understand what it means to love and care for someone else. So you can do it. I know you can. No matter how small you may be or how big, we all can share love. As I've already said, it's a smile. It's a listening ear. It's a helping hand. You're never too small to do that. Share a smile. And have a very Merry Christmas. Amen.